Well, yeah, I have rarely <laughs> hold this again. I should take a break. Hello, thank you for tuning in for my project panning intro. Let's get straight into the video. I have 23 products all in this tray and it's this video. Most of them are makeup related with two exceptions, but I'm gonna start with makeup in the order how I apply them. I'm gonna start with two primers. Why is this one by Garland is a sampler, so it's gonna be very really easy for me to finish. There's that. And item number two is gonna be this Too Faced Handover Hydrating Primer. I already used quite a lot of this, so I don't think it's gonna be any trouble for me to finish this one as well. I'm actually aiming to finish more primers than just this two. So once I finish using this two, I have more primers to pan. But it doesn't mean these two primers will be the only primers I use. Ideally, I want to finish using this one before the summer. So that's item number two. My item number three is this Baudrillard foundation. This one is almost down the line somewhere um, here. I think I'll be able to finish this one somewhere by April. At least that's my goal. I have another foundation that I want to pan from Burst Beats. This one I just want to pan for fun because this foundation actually settles and separates from the glass bottle. You can easily track your progress. I will include footages later. Number five and number six are two concealers. One is the Eat Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Under Eye Sample. Nothing too serious about this concealer. I just want to get it out. I guess it's worth mentioning. My goal for project panning is to use a product and to get it out of my collection. So if there is a point where I no longer enjoy the product, I wouldn't force myself to use it up just to use it up. If I don't enjoy it or if I dislike the product, I won't let myself declutter it. But there's more of that for me to figure out in my future videos. That's the sample from the Cosmetics. And then this mineral concealer from Maybelline. I want to get it out just because it's really, really old. And if I don't make an effort to pan this, this is probably going to sit in my collection for another, I don't know how long. So yeah, that's number six. I keep on forgetting I'm on number six. I, I swear, I think I still have that mommy brain going on like where my thoughts are so slow from time to time. No, not from time to time. <laughs> Most of the time. Okay, we're moving on to number seven. I guess it's going to be this one, this um, Sony Kashuk. Uh, cream bronzer. If you see my uh, face makeup inventory, you will see how much products left in this. So this one is going to be gone in probably about, I don't know, 10, 5? Depends on how heavy I use them. This is also why the reason why I really wanted to film this video because I've been dying to get this one out of my collection. But because I haven't filmed this video and I really wanted to include this one in this video, so I've been holding on to use it. So, yeah. I also want to pan this stick concealer from Bobbi Brown. It's almost half gone. I don't use concealers a lot. I don't know how realistic it is for me to want to pan two concealers at the same time, but I want to include this one in the project because at least I can track the progress, which is oddly satisfying. Although I just got into project panning recently, I feel like I have always been interested in finishing a product. I still have old photos from my empties from 2014. Anyways, let's move on. I also want to actively pan or use as much as I can with this Josie Miron Argan Illuminator. This one is clear to me that I'm not aiming to finish using the whole bottle. I just want to use as much as I can. And regardless what happens by the end of 2023, this product will be out of my collection. Okay, I did some adjustments with uh, the camera. Um, and I also realized I was filming without recording. Yeah, it happens. So I was talking about this, um, this powder from NYX as my next product to pan in this year. Most of the pan is already out, so this product is going to be very easy to pan. I don't know if I will be repressing this product. That's how it looks right now. Of course, if I if I do end up repressing it, I'll make sure I'll take photos so we can track the progress together. Another one I want to finish using up is this um, bronzer from NARS. You can see I already hit pan on it. There's actually a lot of dent. I'm actually optimistic that I will be able to finish using this whole bronzer. And I'm totally okay finishing using this whole bronzer because I have another Laguna in my collection. Also, that one is a smaller sample. So yeah, I'll be trying to empty this bronzer in this year. Another one that I want to finish because I have two of them is this matte creamy white eyeshadow from Lancome. You can see I have a lot of dent and a decent pan, but because the way I use this product is to use a big fluffy brush, I might need to repress it sometime soon. So it will be more functional for me to use it. But for now, I'm going to try to use it like this until I can't. But because I always go in with a big fluffy brush, I don't think it'll be hard for me to use this one out. Another one is going to be very challenging is this eyeshadow quartz. Now it's only three colors in there. And I'm not 100% sure if I want to finish using all three colors or just these two. Because I'm no longer really interested in this already. So, you know what? On the spot, I'm deciding I'm only including these two colors. Even without the teal one in the picture, this one will still be very challenging. But we'll see how I make progress on that. 
I also have two eyeliners I want to use up in this year. One is a liquid eyeliner from Urban Decay. Another one is a retractable stick eyeliner from Stila. It's supposed to be a very creamy eyeliner. This one is kind of dried out, so it's performing like a regular pencil eyeliner, which is fine with me. I use this one to tie line. I'm not very picky with eyeliners. I can totally settle with one eyeliner for every day. This one from this uh, liquid eyeliner from Urban Decay is almost to the end of its life. It shouldn't take me a lot of uses for me to finish using this. So I think this is another easy number to collect. Two mascaras. One is uh, the bottom lash mascara from Clinique. I have really sparse bottom lashes. I thought this mascara would do me a number of goods, but I don't think I ever really enjoyed this mascara, so I don't know. This mascara might end up being decluttered instead of being used up. We'll see. Another one is the Lash Primer from Lancome. This one I just want to include in this project so I can intentionally use it. Because even though I have very shy lashes, using a primer definitely helps. But to me, it's an additional step that I don't always go for. That's why I'm including this one here. So it motivates me to use it more. Then I have this lip butter from Revlon that I want to finish using up. This wouldn't be the only lip product I want to finish using up. But I'm only including one for now so I can prioritize. This is in the color Juicy Papaya. Another one I want to finish is this Fix Plus from MAC, which is um, almost done. But again, this is one of the products I have to make conscious effort to use because otherwise I just don't grab it. So there's that. I also want to finish this Home Fragrance from Clean. It is also almost gone, so it's going to be very easy for me to collect that number. Another product that is almost gone that I want to finish is this perfume from Givenchy. Is there very irresistible? Um, this one is somewhere here. I worn this one a lot back in the days, but for now, because my style has changed and also having a baby, becoming a mom, this scent is becoming uh, quite strong for me. So even though there's only a little left, I wouldn't be so surprised if this one takes me a while to finish. But I wanted to include this one in the project because it does not make sense to me that there is this big bottle that is taking space in my home with very little product left in there. So, so I want to use it up just to get it out. So that's it for my project panning intro. That's 22 items I want to start panning. Even though I have 22 items, this will still be a rolling project pan. My mission is obviously to finish as much as product as I can in 2023. I'll be tracking my progress and I'll update my progress with you guys once in a while. Yeah, I am really excited to get this challenge going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you enjoy my video. As always, I wish you enjoy yourself at whatever you do. And I hope to see you again. Bye!